Hey everybody, hope and pray that you're doing well today as we come to our word from the word. And today that word is dwell, dwell. Now picking up uh, kind of where we left off in 2 Chronicles chapter 6 last week. And uh, I know we left off with, you know, start of the month of April, the April Fools and, and talking about how the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. And and this prayer that we see throughout chapter 6 is a long prayer. And uh, we're just going to look at another little passage of it, but I pray that you would be reading all of it. Um, and just to think about the focus that he has is that the temple has been uh, completed and that he's really reflecting on the fact that today, how in the world? Uh, I don't even know how this is possible, but Lord, we built you this temple and we want you to live here. I mean, it's essentially what he's saying. So he he's done what God has wanted him to do, what was passed on to him. Uh, and he's, he continues to give glory to God. And uh, today you're going to see in that prayer something that he says. So starting in verse 18 of Second Chronicles chapter 6, reading down to verse 21, says, But will God indeed dwell with men on the earth? Behold, heaven and the heaven of heavens cannot contain you. How much less this temple which I have built. Yet regard the prayer of your servant and his supplication, O Lord my God, and listen to the cry and the prayer which your servant is praying before you that your eyes may be open toward this temple day and night, toward the place where you said you would put your name, and that you may hear the prayer which your servant makes towards this place. And may you hear the supplication of your servant and your people Israel when they pray towards this place. Hear from heaven your dwelling place, and when you hear, forgive. There's a lot that goes on in this passage, in this prayer, you know, uh, praying that all those, even foreigners, even those who are uh, uh, the Jews, that they could pray towards the temple and that God would continue to hear. But the purpose today that I want to look at is the, his desire for God to dwell. And and he doesn't even understand how. He says, I, I don't even understand. He said, you know, you created everything that we see, the, the heaven and the, the heavens of the heavens can't even contain you. So how could this little small temple that I built? No matter how extravagant, it still can't contain you. But God, I want you to dwell. And I get to thinking about that word dwell. I mean, it's it's not a temporary. I don't want you to just stay momentarily. To me, it, it's, you know, it's, that's kind of like a, a hotel stay, a, a temporary stay. But to dwell is to, to live, to take up residence. And that's why he says it's your dwelling place. But see, now I can't help but tie that to us today that that now we are the as believers, right? If you're a born again believer, then you are the temple of God. But I wonder how many of us are just happy to have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. But it's not that we really desire him to dwell in us. It's not we just kind of want him to stay for a little while. And then we go throughout the week and then we do something different. Right, right. We come to we come to church on Sunday and we and we come together and we yes, we experience the presence of God and the word of God. We just talked about that yesterday. And and to think about that, we experience all that. But then we go throughout the rest of the week and no, we didn't want him to dwell. We just wanted to stay long enough to kind of catch us in our feelings and our emotions and make us happy about the fact that we had taken time out of our busy schedules to to grace God with our presence in the church. And we have no desire for him to truly dwell in our lives. That, that's not the way things are supposed to be. We need to have the same desire that uh, when we're following God's commands, when we're following his direction, as Solomon was, he was being obedient, doing all these things, and then lifting him up in, in prayer and saying, God, I don't even know how this can contain you. But I know that I've been obedient. And Lord, because I've been obedient to your word, because it's been your word, God, I want you to hear my prayer, hear my cry. Hear all the supplication, everything that I'm, I'm putting on top of it. Lord, hear it all because, Lord, I want you to dwell. And maybe that's what we need to do today. Maybe we need to spend some time in prayer and just getting rid of everything else and saying, God, I, I don't want you to stay for a moment. I don't want you to just help me in this moment. Maybe this jam that I've gotten myself in or this maybe this temporary storm that I'm facing. No, I don't want you to just stay for a moment until the circumstances change and I forget all about you. No, God, today, I want you to dwell. God bless you, and I pray you have a great, great day.